Today I've travelled to Ruby Tech in Hull where I've come to look at the installation of a brand new Victor NP20 CNC lathe. Andy, freezing outside but warm in here, and um, that's all because you've got a lot of guys in here that are hands to the pump, I assume, is it? Yes, yes, we're very lucky here. We've got no, we've got no heating, so everything that's generated here is from hard work. Yeah, and a lot of it, it's not hot air from these guys then, it is No, no, production. it's proper production, yeah, yeah. Now, just tell us a little bit briefly about Rubitech as a company, where you've come from and where you are today. Um, we, we started in 2008, um, we had a 600 square foot unit, uh, one CNC lathe and uh, one, one miller. And then within five, six years, we had four units on that estate. So at that point, it was time to look for, to, you know, to put it all under one roof. So 2015, we, we acquired this. And you've got quite a bit of space in here. Um, we, we laugh, we joke about you guys, but you've got some serious skill sets as well, haven't you? Yes, um, we try our hardest, to, you know, to, to keep the skill set high. And when we're training, we want the skill set to be the best in the town. Um, our apprentices are, are trained old fashioned ways before we put them onto the modern machinery that we've got. Talking about modern machinery, brand new NP20 lathe here from Victor. This is your first Victor machine. Yeah. Um, we'll get straight to the point. What, how pleased are you with the installation? Uh, very pleased. It's ex it went exactly how I expected from the people we bought it off. It's cutting our run times down uh, and it's just, it's just a nice feeling to have a brand new machine that you know at one phone call you, you know, an anything issue. you need is there. So first thing that strikes me, the size of it. it. I mean, I've reviewed these machines before. I've seen them at exhibitions as well. They are tiny. Tiny, it yes. Tiny, tiny, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. it's very robust at the same time. Yes. Um, the, the, the machine it replaced um, it was getting to the point where we was, uh, you know, struggling with surface finishes with the exotic material we use. Since we've been using this, it's got a lot of torque. It, you know, it, it, it's very well made. For a machine of this size, it delivers a lot, doesn't it? And I've heard, I've heard that before. And I wonder how they do it. I mean, it must be to do with the, the weight of the casting you know, the kinematics, how they, they build it, but it really does deliver significant machining results for you. Yes, it needs to as well, because we do test our machines. We test them to the limit, we run them as hard as we can. And so yes, if, if it ticks our boxes, it's, it's... And it's stainless 316s as well as exotic materials, isn't it? The yeah, with duplexes, in canals, asteroids. Um, we don't say no, so whatever comes through the door, we figure it out. It's got milling on it too. Never yes. any issues with that? You've found that that's okay? What are you doing? Just milling flats? Are you flats, uh, hexagons, PCDs, just general easy milling, I would call it, for um, now. GMCNC, you bought the machine from. Now, you've got a history of, of working with these guys as well, haven't yes. you? Is, yeah. Was that part of your influence on the Victor? Um, yes. Um, once I found out uh, GMC were, were going to be the stockist of Victor, th there was no question. Whenever it was time to get a new CNC lathe, that's, that's where I would go. They offer brilliant support. Um, they're, they're good to deal with, you can have a laugh with them, but you know the serious side is the serious about what they do. So, um, We had an interesting conversation earlier about where a lot of your work comes from and you do, you do attract attention from, from the south of England as well, don't you? you, you, you you're shipping quite a, quite a lot of goods down there, why do you think yes. that is? Um, without uh, making us sound cheap, um, I do believe our area, um, the cost of living around here is, is lower than the south, so obviously that brings every cost down. Um, so for the sake of uh, couriering a parcel, it's a no-brainer for me. People are saving money using us. And you're even having inquiries on most days from, from people well outside of your geographic territory. Yes, we are. And yes. I suppose that could be a contributing factor. As long as they don't have to come up here and get cold, they'll, they'll, they'll be No, happy. no, not many people travel this way, <laughs> so we wouldn't, we wouldn't expect them to. Well, I can tell you the trains were quiet today. And um, I was going to ask you about some of the options that you've got on the machine. And the first one um, is about a bar feed, and you haven't actually got one, but you don't, you don't need one then. You're not doing bar work. It's mainly chucking, is it? No, um, we've never had a bar feed. I mean, some of the uh, second-hand machines I've bought have come with bar feeds, and I've purposely told them I don't want it. Um, I appreciate it. it there's, a, there's an industry for it, um, but I like my guys to, to feel the jobs, uh, get involved with them and take ownership. So a bar feed takes that away. Good to, good to be hands-on. Um, Mark's out of 10 for the installation. 10. 10, excellent. Ten. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, no Andy. No problem.